In this video, we're going to write a Python program to concatenate the contents of two files and write the resulting content to a third file. So here we have two files, file one and file two. And we're going to write a program that can concatenate the contents of these files and write the result to a new file that we'll call newfile.txt. We'll create a function to perform this work. So that way we could call the function again and again at different places in our source code with different file names. So we'll call the function merge and the function will have three parameters, the name of the first file, the name of the second file, and the name of the new file that's going to store the result of the concatenation of the first two files contents. Then we're going to open up all three files. So we'll have file one is equal to open file name one. So this is going to open up the file with file name one for reading and file one is going to be a file object that allows us to access that file. We'll do the same thing with file name two. So we'll have file two is equal to open file name two. And then we can use the file two object to access the file. So now we can open up the third file, the file that we're going to write to this file. We have to open up in write mode. So we're going to have new underscore file is equal to open new underscore file name. But this time we're going to have a second argument W in a string. This will open the file in write mode. So we can actually write to the file. The next thing we need to do is actually read the contents of file one and file two. So we'll have file one underscore contents is equal to file one dot read. So this read method of the file one object is going to return a string containing all the contents of this file. We'll do the same thing with file two. So we'll have file two underscore contents is equal to file two dot read. And again, file two dot read is a method that's going to return all the contents of file two. We're going to store that into file two contents. So now file one contents and file two contents contain the contents of those files as a string. So now if we want to concatenate the contents of these files in this third new file, all we have to do is write the contents of file one to the new file and then write the contents of file two to the new file, which will have the effect of concatenating the files contents. So let's do that. We'll have new underscore file dot write and we're going to write file one contents. So write all the contents of file one to the new file. Then we'll have new underscore file dot write file two contents. So after writing the file one contents, we're going to write the file two contents and then we can close all three files. So we'll have file one dot close and then file two dot close and then new file dot close. Now we can just call this merge function down here with our three file names. So we'll have merge file1.txt and then file2.txt and then new file.txt. And then we can save our program and test it out. So we'll run our program and then we'll check out new file.txt. And we see that new file.txt does contain the contents of file one followed by the contents of file two. So the contents have been concatenated and put into this third file here. Now, one thing we could do is get the file names from user input. So we could have something like this. Let's say file name one is equal to input file one colon. And then we could have file name two is equal to input and then file two colon. And then we could have new file is equal to input. And then we could have new file colon. And then we can supply these variables as the arguments to the function. So we could have file name one, file name two, and then new file. And this would also work. So we'll just try this out. We'll have new file here and we'll save this. We'll run a program. I'll enter in file1.txt. I'll actually enter in new file.txt for the second file. And then I'll enter in new f2.txt for the new file. Then we'll check out new f2.txt. And we see that we get file one concatenated to new file.txt. So we could also accept the file names from user input as well. So this is how we can concatenate the contents of two files and write the result to a third file. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.